In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why Henry is one of the best Madden players in Madden 21 and how he runs what I believe to be literally the most simple but at the same time the most uh, effective offense in Madden 21. And we're going to be breaking down kind of what he came to the Madden Bowl with. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Cody and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. My channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become through doing daily videos on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so in today's video, we're going to be discussing how Henry runs the best gun bunch tight end offense in Madden 21, why he is so effective with it, and what we can take away from what we saw him do in the Madden Bowl. Now, if you guys, again, are new to the channel, I actually have an entire Gun Bunch tight end offensive guide, which you can get for just $15 in the description. It actually has the entire New York Jets offensive playbook broken down. It covers the bunch, the bunch tight end, as well as the trips tight end offset. Um, that also covers some special plays as well that are in the Seattle book as well out of the bunch tight end, like the play curl flat corner, uh, which is the play that one of Henry's favorite plays as well. So don't worry, you're going to get all access to everything. Um, so if you want to learn the gun bunch tight end that I used in the Madden Classic and that you see Henry using in the Madden Bowl right now, you can get that entire offensive guide in the description for just $15. Now I want to go over one of the plays that I saw Henry running that I thought was actually very unique and very effective. And it's a version of PA boot over. Now, PA boot over is the best play in Madden 21. I don't care what anyone tells you. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal passing concept. And the way that Henry could master this concept make, is, is just absolutely you know special. Now, we're not gonna be able to do everything that he was gonna be able to do. And so we're gonna kind of make a little bit of an adjustment and kind of explain why um, it's the case. But first and foremost, PA boot over. So here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we are going to, um, you see here that we can smart route this post route. We're actually not going to. We're going to leave it standard as it is just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the circle receiver here on a little flat route, a little quick shoot flat route to the right side. We're going to take that triangle receiver, we're going to put him on a slant, and then we're going to take our tight end or our X receiver and put him on a smart routed out route. Now, Henry would recommend putting him on a corner route if you have a hot route master quarterback or something of that nature. That's what Henry would do. That's what he did throughout the entire Madden Bowl. This was one of his favorite setups. And then basically we'll take the running back and put him on a little option route. And we're gonna motion that triangle receiver to the right. And essentially our first read is really that, um, that slant route. That slant route is very unique. It gets in a very nice little pocket against a lot of Mabel coverages and Mabel concepts. So that's one little option that you can go to. Go to. Now the beauty of this offense is that it's actually really, really effective against multiple styles of defenses. One of which is um, one of which is man to man. So you'll see here that this combination will give you several different options against man to man coverage. The option route is obviously one of them, as you can see right there, just cuts to the outside and continues to kill man coverage. As I've been preaching all season long, if you want to beat man coverage in Madden 21, you want to start with your running back because your running back cannot be pressed. And I believe the option route is one of the best man beating routes in the entire game. And the next route that we're going to be hitting on against man to man coverage is this triangle receiver. As you see right there, he cuts back to the inside very nicely. And oftentimes we'll get very good separation, you know, no matter what the defense wants to do. And the beauty of this D or this, this offense is truly what it can do against zone coverage. It's one of the best zone beating and man beating combinations of an offense that's ever really been existed, in my opinion, in Madden. It's very, very effective. And not very many people understand that when you learn how to do multiple things other than just run PA boot over, it can really make a big difference. So for example, the cover three bomb here, as you can see, you do have a shot at hitting this. Now, because I can't put that corner route out there, that, that corner will sometimes come back on the ball a lot better. Um, but if you can put a if you can put a corner a corner route there to the tight end, it's going to help you a ton. Okay, you can actually burn the cover three sometimes over the top of the defense. Another thing that I would recommend though, and this is not something that I saw Henry doing a ton out of this setup, this is just something that I personally would recommend, is I would recommend essentially a little running back, little five yard out route, or something as simple as a wheel route, just like this right here, in combination with a little delay fade. And the reason why is because oftentimes a wheel route is going to hold that guy, as you see, he does have a shot to hold. He didn't ha have a great success there. 
but typically that wheel route will hold as long as you have certain you know stipulations and things like that but really you know you can mess around with the wheel route you could also um, you could also do something like a smart routed option route now the one issue that I have with the smart route option route is because you can't put that delay fade out there to your side end but you'll see, I mean, that little, little smart route option route is very effective against Mabel coverage. It's very effective against really any maximum coverage zone defense. So you do have that going in your favor. Now, another little thing that you can do as far as this plays out is against the cover four, um, cover four match, cover four drop, you know, really either one of them. The beauty of this post is that as you see here, when it clears, it is a cover four bomb. As you can see right there, um, that post will kill cover four drop. So cover four batch, cover four drop, typically that post drop, because we've combined that with a motion slant, and especially if you can get that corner route out there, if they shift down to cover four, which a lot of people in Madden 21 have started to realize that cover four is probably the best basic way to st start playing defense, this right here just kills it. And right there, um, the tight end didn't do everything that we needed him to do. That's why that corner route is so effective or so important. But as you see, we get over the top of the cover four drop for a one put touchdown. So this beats cover four, it beats uh, cover three. And then uh, as far as the cover two goes, I don't see a lot of cover two, especially when I'm in you know, this kind of a, a mode right here. But the skinny post is not something that you should really underrate. Like right there, as you see, he does run right into the guy. Um, and that's why the corner route is, again, I, I just want to emphasize, especially if you're in mutt, if you can put a corner route out there, okay? If you can put a corner route out there. But the other thing that I want to hit on just briefly here is if they're running um, something like a cover two, then what you can do is you can just low ball that post right when he cuts to the middle of the field, as you can see right there. It's a very nice little option, especially if you have a quarterback that has gunslingers. So all that to say, the bunch tight end is truly, in my opinion, the best offense in the entire game, okay? Especially when you can combine it with gun bunch as well as the trips tight end offset. The bunch tight end is very special. The reason it's so special is because you can be very effective by only running a couple of plays. And those couple of plays will literally beat everything the defense can possibly do. It just is up to you to be able to make the right read. What I've always said is the beauty of the bunch tight end is it combines a lot of the concepts that we love from bunch and it also combines concepts we love from trips tight end into one offense. And so that is why I would recommend if you have not gotten my complete bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave in a link in the description. You can get my full gun bunch, bunch tight end and trips tight end offset offensive guide for just $15. So it covers all three of those formations very in depth and it will turn your offense into what I would consider an elite level pro level offensive scheme. So if you want to get that complete offensive guide, it is in the description. And again, it's just 15 bucks. Thanks for your time. If you want to get the guide, head down to the description right now.